Welcome back to the channel. I'm Peter Mokri, a Dallas-based DP, photographer, gaffer with a one-ton grip van full of aperture lighting, and I am available for hire. In this video, I show you how one large softbox can get you the results you need and make your subject pop. Right when I get on location, the first thing I do is set up my cameras to get my framing and see how everything's going to look. Then the next step is eliminating the light. I wanna see what the natural light is doing in the space. I turn the lights on, off, and I kinda of get a feel of what things are doing and to get my framing as best as possible. The next thing I do is I try to adjust the furniture to make sure I could get the best look possible. With the camera not showing the whole space, you could cheat a lot of things. Sometimes things may not be aligned like they normally would in a space, but on camera, it looks amazing. And then when it looks good in person, it looks terrible on camera. So adjusting the space is really good. I didn't have much time for this setup. I only had about 30 minutes, but I was able to get really good results. Now the space that I was in wasn't really big. It was pretty compact. It was just a little uh, dining area that's kind of called the breakfast nook a lot of times here in Texas. One of the reasons the director chose this space for the interview was because it had a nice look with those shutters. Now behind the subject, I wanted them open, but on the side of the subject, I wanted them closed so I could control the light and it wouldn't be fading in and out or causing any weird um, splashes on the subject. But during this interview, I actually shut them. And a lot of people that watch the channel know that I like bounce light as my fill light. So this created a bounce. Let's get into the lighting. I went with the 600X Pro with the Light Dome 150. It had a 45 degree grid on it and the 2.5 stop diffusion. That is the softer diffusion that comes with the Light Dome 150. And in the corner where you see the rooster over there, that's straight ahead, it was really dark. I tried shining the 60D straight into the corner at the level of where the light is at right now. So it was about four feet off the ground. And what it did is it created really nasty shadows. It looked really directional. It was just too much. It didn't work in that space. So what I did is at full power, I blasted the ceiling and you see that nice little rectangular spot in the corner. And that's just the 60D with the barn doors hitting that corner. And it's just bringing up the levels in that area, which is really great. And it's not really affecting the subject because we already have the key giving off a lot of output. So it's really not conflicting with it. And it made that just a little bit brighter because it was really dark otherwise. These interviews are a continuation of a project that I've been working on with a local rancher and restaurant owner that we went to the panhandle to actually get interviews. And if you know ranchers, if you know cowboys, if you know people like that, even farmers, they love to wear hats. So I had to be prepared for the hats. They will not take their hats off. They like to wear their hats and we are going to get the content we need hats on or hats off, it doesn't matter. So I came prepared and I made sure to get the light as close as possible to the subject, but also get it low enough where I could actually get under the brim of the hat and not have really bad shadows as a result of them wearing a hat. So that was really crucial. When it came to cameras, I went with my trusty Sony FX6s. I have two FX6s and then I have a 50 millimeter and a 85 millimeter for the tight. I am using two Shogun Connect monitors, so I have matching kits, my tripods match. It makes everything a lot easier. I have matte boxes that match, so my kits are pretty identical. The only thing different on them right now is just the actual lenses, and I have a 50mm 1.2 and an 85 1.8. I'm running a Sennheiser 416 straight into camera with the boom, and we are not laving the subjects. I don't have time to lab everyone up and make their labs disappear. They can sit down, get up and go, and we're getting great audio. And 99% of the time, the labs don't sound as good as the boom. So I go with the boom. Now people are gonna say, why do you have your windscreen on? Why do you leave that on? Because we do interviews indoors and outdoors, and it doesn't hurt it being on indoors, and it works really well outdoors, so I just leave it on for these interviews so they have a consistent sound to them. And right there you can see that 600, oh, sorry, 60D pointing right into the corner, blasting light to just bring up the levels at that corner. If you see the corner in the kitchen over there, 
that's how dark it looked and it just brings it up evenly and I made it where it was out of frame and it wasn't creating weird shadows or issues. Now, a lot of people have asked, what settings do you have in camera? What are you running? What are your, uh, you know, what's your f-stop? You know, just a different setting. So I went ahead and went in tight so you could see the settings that I have. And then I went to the other camera so you could see the settings. The only thing you'll notice that's different is the white balance. Now, why would the white balance be different? Because I custom white balanced each camera. So the thing that's a variable here is the lenses. They're two different lenses, so they may pick it up slightly different. And it's it's always recommended to do a custom white balance on each camera because if you just go on the FX6 and put it to like 5600 on both cameras, it doesn't correct the magenta or green shift. So this is the footage straight out of camera. It's S-Log3, no adjustments made. And then I apply a LUT to the footage. This is kind of my go-to LUT. It's a phantom LUT. I really enjoy using these guys. I think they're the easiest LUTs to do. If you just follow the rules, you can just apply them and they look amazing. And then here's the tighter shot. Same thing, here's log, and then we apply the light here and it just pops. It looks amazing. The skin tones look great. Could it use a little bit more adjustments? Yes, you could fine tune to your heart's content. But for fast turnaround, these are a great solution. Now, this is what it looks like with the Atomos false color LUT applied. You can see how things land in the space and you can see how the background has that movement with the light as well. The tree is creating dappling on those blinds and that keeps changing in the scene and creates some life that I really enjoy. And this is the tighter shot. I think everything turned out really great. I'm really happy that we were able to get some catch lights. Also, I was able to get some great exposure and not get any nasty shadows from the hat, which is a positive in this scenario. So here's something that I want to do differently. So A, B, C, and D are all different LUTs applied. They're part of the Phantom LUT series. And which one do you like best? Do you like A, B, C, or D? And it's really a preference thing. You got to really look around because they look very similar. They're not like going off the deep end and extreme. And then here's a tighter look. And you can see the skin tones, how they change, the shadows, the whites, and just overall the look. Now, applying these LUTs, they will change some other things. So when I apply the Atomos False Color LUT, I actually apply it after I've chosen my LUT, not in the log. So now look closely and you can see where it's different in this scene and what it's doing differently. It's very minute in some places, especially on the subject skin and just overall look. But if you look in the background, you can see that things are a little bit different and they're slightly different overall. And you're seeing a little more of something in one or the other. Be sure to pause it and take a look and see what you prefer. Now, what LUT do you prefer? A, B, C, or D? Comment down below and let me know which one you prefer. If you enjoy this content, check out some of these other videos right here or here. Thanks so much for watching.